Hello, and we're still here at Computex 2025 here in Taipei. We are at Minis Forum stand. Yes, we are going to talk about the N5 Pro in just a wee bit. You might be able to make it out there in the background. But before we do that, I wanted to talk about this. I know what you're thinking. This is the MS-01. You're wrong. It's the MSA2. You're wrong. This is the ms R1. This is a new kind of mini PC that Minis Forum are working on. Now, it has got a PCIe Gen 4x8 slot. It has got two 10GB E slots. It has got a huge amount of potential with 12 cores and 12 threads to play with there. So what's the big deal? This is running on an ARM processor. This is from CIX, a new name in the world of ARM-based processors, and this is kind of changing everything going new about mini PCs. As if that isn't enough, remember an ARM processor, this has got a Gen 4 times 4 M.2 NVMe slot. Now there's only one here, but there is support of both the U.2 upgrade card and a 22110 link SSD upgrade. Now this is still in early development. Indeed, that ARM-based processor there lacking um, the ability for standard graphical output there is made up for not only with support from graphics cards via that PCI Gen 4x8 slot, but support of UEFI and BIOS for booting any of those operating systems easily. So again, you're still going to have that graphical output there as you can make out from the rear, which even though it doesn't have integrated graphics in the traditional sense, because it's an ARM, it still has HDMI out, which is going to allow for the easy OS installations. Now, memory is going to be a tricky subject, because it isn't going to be sodium or removable. It's probably almost certainly going to be pre-installed, and this is a device that's still in early development. But we are still talking about an ARM-powered 10 GBE mini PC with a huge amount of Gen 4 lane architecture through and through. Yum, yum. Another update on the Minis Forum N5 Pro. I know I'm waiting for it as well. But an interesting little development with this bad boy. Come in closer, Katie. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've all seen 10 gigabit before. Well, I'm pleased to tell you what you're looking at right now is a Thunderbolt connection. This device is hopefully going to be arriving with Thunderbolt over IP or IP over Thunderbolt. That is going to mean that this system, again, is going to draw in a very small collection of units available, especially in the DIY sphere, thanks to things like TrueNAS starting to really work on IP over Thunderbolt to allow editors that are going to take advantage of Thunderbolt devices on their client Mac and the client Windows systems to directly connect with the device. Simultaneously, the rest of their user groups are going to be able to access it remotely. And given this system also has 10 gigabit Ethernet, that is an overwhelming amount of connectivity for, once again, a DIY NAS system and their very first NAS system. I like this. So, you didn't think we were going to stop talking about the N5 Pro. I'm still waiting for this bad boy to arrive. Now, many of you know that from when we were talking about this at CES 2025, this is their new uh, Ryzen 9 uh, 5 bay and M.2 NVMe powered system. But one of the things I want to talk about is some of the upgrades that's going to arrive with this. If you come a little bit closer, this is the U.2 storage upgrade. So, although it already has the five main SATA storage bays, inside it arrives with three Gen 4 M.2 NVMe slots by default. But what this card allows you to do, if we bring in here, is to slide the card in and add U.2 storage to this system. Much, much larger capacity here. You have to attach the additional fan inside. From what I understand, they are going to look at different kinds of upgrade cards for this. Remember that 6-port M.2 upgrade card for the MS-01? Well, don't be surprised if that starts rolling out with this as well. Another thing to follow up on from our previous update on the N5 Pro is to do with that software. When Minis Forum were talking about integrating an operating system with the device on a 64 gig module inside there. And it looks like the software is coming together. Obviously, you're not going to be limited to that. You've got TrueNAS, you've got Unray to go with if you choose to, but they're going to try and integrate this software with it. So if we come in nice and quick, nice and simple. This is utilizing 
a Windows interface here, and it's pretty much everything you're going to need. We've got the settings for configuring the device. Of course, if we wish, we go ahead into the storage manager, and alongside standard storage protocols to find out more about what's going on. You've also got support of things like snapshots. You've also got ZFS support inside here, multimedia with AI photo recognition inside here, the file manager, again, all native to the operating system whenever you need it, and the system runs on both uh, access via Windows and Mac clients there. It won't come as a huge surprise, but still nonetheless, it's nice that they're at least going to integrate an operating system for those that are going to want a turnkey NAS solution for this, not just those that are looking for a pre-built solution for powerhouse stuff like true NAS or taking advantage of Unraid. Talking about other things that are really standing out at Computex right now, Minis Forum, a brand that we talk about quite a lot, I know what you're thinking, that's not a mini PC, and you're right, this is basically a games console. It's rocking out with a Ryzen 9 processor inside and a desktop RTX 5060 uh, graphics card there inside. Now, when we turn the device around, not only have we got an internal PSU going straight out into a three pin standard PC plug, but on top of that, we have got the entire makeup of the GPU card built in with what would originally have been a mini PC infrastructure inside. Now there's two M.2 NVMe slots inside and those two NVMe's are Gen 4 architecture. This has really piqued my interest because although we talk a lot about Minis Forums and PCs, and there's several here around me that can be used for gaming, this is the first time we've seen desktop PC level gaming in what could be envisioned to be a mini PC enclosure. This is interesting. Now, there is a bunch of other stuff there that we could talk about here at the stand. Everything going from um, ITX and MATX stuff going on behind me, but I know a lot of you just want to know more about the N5 Pro. Now, the N5 Pro is actually going to become the N5 Pro and the N5. Now, the N5 Pro, we already know about. It's got that Ryzen H370 CPU there with the 10 GBE and ECC support. Now, they're telling me that it's going to roll out, hopefully, within the next two, three months on the outside at the time of recording here at the end of May, and it's going to roll around the $1,000 mark. Now, alongside that, there's going to be the standard N5 model. Now, the N5 model is rocking out with the Edge 255 Proto there. It's an eight-core CPU, and that one is largely the same. It's not going to have the ECC support, but it is going to arrive around that 600 nicker mark. It's still going to have the 10 GB, it's still going to have the same architecture and design and M.2 selection. It's just not going to have the sheer weight and breadth and power in the ECC support of that Ryzen 9 version there. But this has been Minis Forum here at Computex 2025. Again, we'll update all of this in the article below. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.